Today, the moon is in Sagittarius all day. And so we have this focus on telling a new story. We are preparing for, we're integrating and synthesizing what happened at the Libra lunar eclipse. Um, that was back on Monday, March 25th, and we're also doing the work of the Pisces moon cycle. So with today's Sagittarius moon, we are thinking about who we are, what it all means, and especially what is our dream, what makes our heart sing, what makes what gives meaning to our lives and makes us really come alive that becomes the dream that we are going to be uh, creating over the coming year. So if the Aries new moon is uh, kind of like the beginning of the year in terms of the zodiac, um, I'm not going to say it's a new moon because there's so many new moon or, I mean, new year, right? New year points. But anyway, this is kind of the, a, a seed for the year. It's kind of a beginning. And so the new moon in Aries, this time will be a solar eclipse. And so I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Saturday, March 30th. And we are telling a new story. What does that look like? What does that mean? Uh, what is your dream for the future? So we're working out this experience of what it means, what it looks like, and what it feels like to let go of who we have been in the past, how we have um, understood things, how we have made sense of the world, how we have had control in our lives, how we have uh, thought about things and organized ourselves around certain ideas or ideals and how those foundational ideas could be changing. So the Sagittarius, the energy of Sagittarius and the Sagittarius moon have to do with how we tell the story. What are the beliefs? What are our operating systems and principles that like the ideas that we organize ourselves around and uh because the moon is waning we are also integrating so we're processing digesting and integrating what was revealed around the libra full moon and lunar eclipse so if you've been following me you kind of know you're probably starting to get a sense of how this works with the moon cycle. You, you set your intentions at the beginning of the cycle in a new, you, it's like being a baby, right? Entering something that is new with filled with possibility. You don't know yet what's going to happen. And then with the full moon, something is revealed. We learn more about who we are, what's going to help us move forward. We uh, come in touch with what it is we need to see, what is being revealed to us, and what is going to help us if we are intending this positive movement forward, this this becoming of who we really are, the healing process. It means we're really stepping more fully into our true self. So um, taking care of ourselves in body, mind, spirit, and emotion. So we're with the waning moon in Sagittarius, we're integrating and we're also discovering or Re, I guess, um, telling that story. So realigning with a new um, way of organizing ourselves, a new set of ideas, ideals, principles, right? What gives meaning to our lives and how we define that. So this is what the Sagittarius moon brings is an opportunity to really get clear about how do we define that? What does that mean for us? And very specifically at this time of year in the Pisces moon cycle, what is the set of beliefs that we have aligned ourselves with in the past? And how do those beliefs from the past need to be let go? You know, let them go, let the current carry them away. It's You don't have to try and control and cling and hold on to attachments and it's like, just let the, the water, the waves, let it carry them away. 
let those old ways of being go wherever they drift on to, because that gives you this openness, this readiness to connect with what the future has in store for you. And what you are creating through how you show up for that future. So again, themes of Pisces um, include dreams. So imagination. So your ability to dream and imagine the future now has the opportunity to get translated into how you tell your story and how you make sense of where you're at right now in your life. Um, you don't know the future because that's the nature of the future, but you can kind of figure out what anchors you, right? What do you organize yourself around? How do you see things now that you are older and wiser compared to maybe this time last year, right? Um, what do you know now that you didn't know then? What do you, um, what are you ready to step into now that maybe you weren't ready to step into then? So uh, Pisces moon cycle is about letting go. It's about connecting with our dreams and what we imagine for ourselves and our future. And the Sagittarius moon today is helping us integrate that through defining our beliefs. What is it we care about? What do what helps us move forward? So could be a good time for doing a little bit of journaling um, to right to identify or or lock in. <laughs> Not that you're ever stuck in it, but uh, kind of get get it more clear for yourself right get more clear about what it, what you're stepping into what you want to create for the future um you know if you have all these doors in front of you it's like what do you want to find behind those doors and how does that help you understand who you are and how does that help you um find the words and tell the story of your life and what you want to create for yourself. So if I could have anything, it would be dot, 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 right? That's maybe a place to start with in your journaling. And then, um, and then if I had that thing, it would also then mean that I am, you know, blank now. Right. So so if if I had this thing that I want, which is world peace, right, <laughs> if I could have anything I want and I want world peace, that's my dot, dot, dot. You know, maybe you maybe you have pages to write out. I don't know. But if it's world peace. Then how does that translate to who I am being now? How do I organize myself around being a creator of world peace. What do I do? What is unique about me that can contribute to world peace? How can I foster that? How can I cultivate that for myself? How can I do my self-care in a way that helps me grow in that area? So just a thought. I mean, there's so many different ways you could go with all this. And of course, each of us is unique um, in, our, in our human individuality. Uh, but those are some thoughts of how you could work with this Sagittarius moon energy, thinking about how we are integrating and uh, telling the story of who we're becoming. Thank you so much for being here. I am Marina Orms, and you can learn me more about me and how to discover more about your own chart by working with me at astrologyheals.com. I've been having some fantastic sessions with some of you meeting one-on-one -on -one where we can dive in and really uh, unpack what your chart tells you about what, you know, it's not like it's telling you anything you don't know, but it it helps you see what that deeper truth is for you, right? Uh, get, getting rid of all the noise, all the external influences and getting down to the essence of who you are and not only who you are, but what is going to help you step into your dream and organize your own set of beliefs. So, um, so, and finding out where these eclipses fall in your chart 
maybe it's time for you to book that session with me. Um, you can do so and you get 20% off your first session. So go to astrologyheals.com to get all the details. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm available and my team is ready to help at info at astrologyheals.com. Thanks again for being here and for subscribing. And I'll see you next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. Bye for now.